Hey guys, it's Tim with Hex Treasures. Um, Emily got an email from eBay. I swear to God, this is my fourth time doing this. I keep saying an eBay from email. Um, I finally got it right that time, but I felt the urge to have to share with you guys the fact that I've gotten it wrong so many times. She got an email from eBay uh, regarding some new item-specific requirements they're rolling out in October. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Let's go check out what her email had said. Now, if you look up here, saying effective October 8th, we'll introduce new item-specific requirements in fashion, toys and games, and home and garden categories. Now, right here, the most important part is that these requirements will apply to new and revised listings. So anything that you currently have up, you don't have to worry about um it's not going to affect those but if you revise something and the category that the item that is in that you're revising happens to fall under one of these specifics then you will have to edit it appropriately before it will let you continue to list that item now let's scroll down a little bit and take a look why is ebay making this change basically what all this is saying is that eBay is trying to make it to where your item is more visible, more accessible to the buyer. That if they use the filters on the left-hand side, that um, your item's not falling off. That, you know, if your item fits those parameters, they want the buyer to be able to connect with your item and help you make the sale. The more sales you make, the more money they make. And, you know, it makes sense. Now, down here where it says that they improve your listings visibility and other search engine results outside of eBay. This part right here, the other search engine results outside of eBay, this is something that Emily and I had come across before while doing some um, SEO research that uh, the more item specifics you have, the more likely your item is to be picked up outside by a um, separate search engine like Bing or Google. It uh, really helps with their different algorithms. Now up here, I have the specifics for toys, home and fashion, home and garden. We can go check those out right here. So for toys, toys are pretty plain and simple guys, it really is. Um, it basically boils down to, it's gonna load, there we go. I just cut out the last like 20 seconds because for some reason it wasn't loading, but I got it figured out guys. So as you can see right here, everything is Lego. That's all that's changing in the toys category is Lego. And right here, Lego bricks and building pieces, brand, you're gonna have to include the brand. Now for the sets and packs, see it's tripled up here three times, you're going to have to include the brand the age level and the specific Lego set number and Lego minifigures in the brand. Now Lego is a huge brand. It really is. And it's a really good seller too. Um, what I think they're trying to do or what Lego is pushing for is they want knockoffs and they want off brands like mega blocks. They don't want those um, associated with their brands. So by requiring the brand item specific, if you're listing under the, um, category of Lego bricks or Lego anything, they want that in there to kind of, I don't know, re-verify that it's going to be there. If somebody wants to sort specifically by Lego, it pulls up right. Let's go ahead and check out the next one. Fashion item specifics. Here we are. You can see we've got active wear. And for active wear, we're looking at color, athletic shoes, color, boots. They're going to require upper material, heel height, and color. Most of what you're going to see here is color and size. Almost everything in here is going to be color and size. There's a couple weird things. Okay, shirt, sleeve length. Now, those are for casual button-down shirts, color and sleeve length. I'm assuming they're going to have um, quarter, half, three quarter, long sleeve, short sleeve, those are gonna be your options. But um, skirt length, size, color, size, color, size, color. Basically what fashion is boiling down to is size and color. They want those two included. 
Home and Garden has a lot. I mean, there's 23 pages here of what they're requiring. Brand has, from what I've noticed, has been the major one. Brand, I mean, you've got height, stuff like that. Yeah, of course. Width, brand, 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 color, brand, type, brand, 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 brand. Lots of brand. Okay, so it is um pretty straightforward what they're looking for, guys. Now, this doesn't roll out until October 8th, but um, as a requirement, it doesn't roll out till October 8th, I should say. But you should still be able to include color. If it's already there, if you're in the item specifics and there's a box there that says color, but it doesn't say required, fill it out. There's If there's any box there at all, fill it out. I mean, Emily even adds stuff if it's not there she knows like if it doesn't have I'm um, give me an example of something you add okay let's say it's heel height if they don't have heel height there she types in heel height and adds that just because it's supposed to help so start now get ready get used to doing you know the extra step and it'll just make it that much easier for you guys when it rolls out and it's required to do anyways so um that's pretty much all I had. Thanks for uh, stopping in and checking this out. Oh, by the way, let me know if you like the whole new thing I've got going on here. This is my first video in a while. I feel like at least, you know, where I've done anything personally, it has just been, you know, like a computer screen. So um, I tried something new with um, the picture in picture. Let me know if you guys like it or not. And we'll catch you next time. Don't forget to hit subscribe and smash that like button click on the notification bell where you can be notified when we have new videos coming out. We are Hex Treasures on Instagram, Facebook, eBay, and of course here on YouTube. Take a second and check out some of these other videos we have. We have great tutorial videos for anybody wanting to sell on eBay, as well as some random live working hangouts and things of that nature. Hope to see you guys in our chat when we're live.